welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here happy saturday it is saturday so you know what that means it is grocery haul day today i went to both trader joe's and fred meyer and i also did a walmart pickup and made another little fun stop that i can't wait to share with you i'm also going to fill you in on what i'm doing for my meal plan and what you will be seeing on monday for meal prep monday so if you're here for all the groceries the meal plan and the meal prep just keep watching here is this week's grocery haul i ended up going to trader joe's and fred meyer and then i did a walmart grocery pickup for some walmart specific things and exciting i met with a lady from a local farm in the parking lot minimal contact and i picked up a couple of 18 packs a farm fresh organic pasture raised eggs for a killer price. So let's jump into this grocery haul because it's a big one. So first I picked up another six pack of my Zevia. I grabbed the cola flavor this time. I really like this. I like to have pop on hand every once in a while. I just want one and I avoid the aspartame and car caramel coloring in Pepsi Coke. So this is a great option. The only ingredient in Zevia that I don't love is natural flavors, but it's again, a much better option if you have to have a pop. And then at Walmart, I picked up a bag of organic sweet frozen corn. I actually needed this for a recipe and a refill of the Trader Joe's yogurt pretzels. My husband actually really liked these. So if you have someone in your family that enjoys yogurt pretzels, these were really, really delicious. And way at the bottom here is a pack of the La Tortilla Factory low carb tortillas. I need the big ones for a recipe. And then I had a coupon actually for a free box of fruit snacks. These are the ones that my husband really likes. These are actually WW friendly. So I'll put the points of course here on the screen for you, but these are the Welch's mixed berry fruit snacks. Also grabbed a big pack of string cheese at Walmart. It was a much more affordable price. And this is for my husband. He likes these in his lunches. And again, still WW friendly, just not as point friendly as the light string cheese. But personally, I think it's better, the full fat string cheese. I did end up grabbing a pack of light string cheese as well. This is for a dinner recipe. So I figure since we're gonna be cooking this in a recipe, save the points and pick up the light. And these are the eggs that I got from the local farm. Look how beautiful those are. I'm so excited. So I got two 18 packs. They were $6 per 18 pack, which is a really good deal. I can pay that for 12 at the grocery store. So really excited. I'm going to throw these in the fridge. And she said these will last about a month in the refrigerator or out on your counter for three weeks. I had no idea you didn't have to refrigerate them. So I'm going to put them in the refrigerator. And also at Walmart, since I did a pickup, they actually have the 4% Siggy's yogurt and mixed berry. I love this yogurt. This is the whole milk. And of course, I'll put the points here for you guys. But this yogurt just has really, really good ingredients. Look at that, pasteurized milk, whole milk, cream, berries, blueberries, strawberries, cane sugar, fruit, pectin, and live active cultures. So no natural flavors, no anything funky, and I will gladly take the points for a full fat yogurt because there's a lot more nutritional value. So I picked up two of those. Also, this was a substitution in my Walmart pickup. I actually wanted 99% ground turkey, and they gave me this ground chicken, but I took it just because it was already in the basket and I felt bad. So I went ahead and accepted this. I'll just throw this in the freezer. And then at Walmart, of course, I grabbed two more packs of my organic grass fed and grass finished 93.7 ground beef. This is my favorite hamburger and it's only 6.48 a pound at Walmart, which is great for organic. So I grabbed two more. I would have gotten more, but the limit was two. And then I need the pepperoni for a recipe. So I grabbed the Applegate Uncured Turkey Pepperoni, just better ingredients, overall better turkey pepperoni as far as ingredients go. So I grabbed that. While I was at Trader Joe's, I picked up a can of fat-free refried beans just to have on hand for a taco night or if we're having like a Mexican dinner, I thought it'd be nice to just have some refried beans. I also grabbed another one of my Organic Valley Half and Half. I really wanted the grass fed, but it was sold out. So this will do excellent half and half if you can pick this up at your local Walmart or even your local grocery store. And then at Walmart, I grabbed two more cans of the cut green beans. These are for you know who, the big dog and the little dog. They get these with dinner or meals in place of table scraps and they love them. So I grabbed two more cans of those. 
I grabbed six cans of tuna because my husband decided he wanted tuna in his lunches this next week, and it was a limit of four. So I ended up getting four of the Great Value brand and then two of the Star Kiss just so that I had enough for his lunches. He eats a little over a can on a sandwich every day, so I had to make sure that I had enough to make it through the week. And then while I was at Trader Joe's, I grabbed their coconut rolls. I've been eyeing these and I just had not picked them up because they're just much more affordable at Costco, but I didn't go to Costco and I really wanted to try these. So I grabbed these. I'll definitely let you guys know how these are. And also a refill of my Forager cashew milk. This is my favorite dairy-free milk. I did pick up a new one for me at Trader Joe's that I'm excited about, but this is my all-time favorite. Excellent ingredients in that. And then, of course, a refill of the Little Bites Party for my husband's lunch. You guys know that I like to show you everything in my grocery haul because we all eat different foods. So I want to make sure that you have a variety and get the points for all types of food. So those Little Bites are for him. And then at Trader Joe's, I grabbed another one of the sesame oil. But I was excited because they now have organic sesame oil. And I had never seen this. The sesame oil I've always picked up from Trader Joe's has been non-organic. So I grabbed that. This is the new almond milk. So this is the Trader Joe's Simply Almond Beverage. All that's in here is almonds and water. So I'm going to try this. I'm excited about it. I don't know the point, so of course I'll put them here on the screen. But what great ingredients, water and almonds. So I'm excited to try that in smoothies and in the whipped coffee. I never had any olive oil. I know. And I've only had avocado, so I picked up the organic extra virgin olive oil at Trader Joe's. And I needed shrimp for a recipe this next week, and this is our all-time favorite shrimp. This is the Private Selection Red Argentinian Shrimp Extra Large Peeled and Deveined. We love this shrimp, so I grabbed that. And then I needed some egg roll wrappers. These are for an upcoming dinner recipe, or spring roll wrappers, I think is all I could find. So whatever, it, that works for me. And then look, I finally bit the bullet, only because these were less expensive at Walmart. They were a little over $7 instead of almost $9. And these are the Siete Almond Flour Tortillas. You guys, the ingredients, look at this. That's it. So these are even better than the La Tortilla Factory. Now they are going to be more points. They are 100 calories per tortilla. So I know the La Victorias are two points a piece. These guys right here, these low carb ones. So if these are still two points, great, but they have such good ingredients. So I'm stoked to give those a try. Picked up a big pack of New York steak because I needed New York steak for a recipe. I'm making a really good sheet pan dinner. I can't wait for that. And then I also grabbed another package of 93.7 organic ground turkey just because we've been using a lot of ground turkey. So I picked it up just to throw into the freezer. And then I have a box of the Trader Joe's organic jasmine rice. I love this rice. You literally throw the packet in your microwave for three minutes and out comes perfect rice every time. So I love to have this on hand. You store it in your freezer. It's delicious. And then I had to pick up the brown rice as well, just so that I had a little bit of variety. And everything else is produce. So I picked up another big bag of the organic sweet onions. I love these onions. They're so delicious. And they are $2.79 for this whole bag of organic at Trader Joe's. Such a good deal. And then I also grabbed some organic green beans. This is for a recipe. These actually look really good and really fresh some bananas the organic was the same price as the conventional so always keep your eye on prices sometimes you can pick up organic fruits and vegetables for exactly the same price as conventional and that was the case with these bananas so i need these for a recipe and smoothies decided to pick up another papaya because oh, it's been so delicious i love it with a little bit of lime juice on it i have three bell peppers a red a yellow and an orange for a couple of recipes grabbed a mango because i also need that for an upcoming recipe and the mango and the papaya oh they look so good big bag of the trader joe's organic red potatoes as you guys know i am going to be doing a week on the purple plan starting on monday so potatoes rice all of that is zero point so i wanted to make sure that i stocked my house with a zero point and purple friendly items to give this a good try this next week so stay tuned for a video on how that goes as well as my weigh-in so i grabbed some red potatoes for that always organic they are one of the dirty dozen so always get those organic 
Also at Walmart, I went ahead and grabbed just a small container of strawberries. I really wanted organic strawberries, so I grabbed that. Snow peas, now this was something I debated on because I don't know if snow peas should be purchased organic or not. They're not on the Dirty Dozen, doesn't really say either way. I'm betting they probably should be, but they didn't have them at Trader Joe's. So I grabbed these. I'll wash them really, really well. Down here, I have a stem of organic green onion for a couple recipes. Picked up some more lettuce because I've been living the salad life. So I grabbed some of the baby lettuce mix as well as some organic romaine just because I like the crunch of the romaine mixed with the baby lettuce. A big bundle of organic asparagus. I had to get this at Fred Meyer because Trader Joe's had nothing organic. So I need that for a recipe and some organic blueberries just to have on hand for fruit. I've been really eating a lot of fruit as it's coming into season now, which is so exciting. So that is everything as far as food goes. I did want to show you one more thing that I picked up at Trader Joe's. Pick this up and I did haul one of these in a previous video. It was just a different flower. I think it was a hyacinth. This is a daffodil and it comes in this cute little vase. You can see the this um, roots of the daffodils and then they bloom and they're really, really cute. You just can leave it on your counter and you have some nice, pretty daffodils. So it was $2.99. I saved the vase because it's great to have on hand for flowers. And then I also had to pick up another bundle of um, pansies because my dog has been digging in my flower pots, Diesel. We don't know why, but he's been doing it. So I need to replace a couple of flowers. So I grabbed that. Well, that is everything for the week. There's also a case of water, a case of Diet Coke, case of Coors Light, and that is everything. So I'm going to hop right into this week's meal plan and what I am doing for meal prep. So excited. They are all going to be purple plan friendly recipes. Well, friendly on any plan, but geared towards my week on the purple plan. Let's jump into this week's meal plan. This is my Carrie L meal planner. If you guys are interested in this planner, my code here on the screen gets you 10% off. They are a small business. So if you're in the market for a meal planner, I highly suggest that you support them at this time. They were just running the digital download. I'm not sure if they've brought back the actual meal planner, but put them on your radar and make sure you support them and order the meal planner when they are back up and running. Again, they're such a great small business and they really, really could use our support, especially after everything going on in our world. So I want to show you guys first what I am doing for my meals for the week. So this is the weekly menu. This is the week of 5-2 through 5-8. So Saturday today is an out to dinner day. My husband and myself choose to support a small business every Saturday and pick up some type of dinner to go. Sunday is pizza sticks and veggies. This sounds so good. I can't wait to share this with you guys. You will see this in Wednesday's What I Eat In A Day video. Monday is going to be ground turkey skillet over rice. This is a really low point. All my recipes this week are geared towards the purple plan, but of course they're low point on every WW plan. And of course I'll be sharing the points for all plans, no matter what. So I'm going to be doing a ground turkey skillet over rice. Tuesday is shrimp stir fry. This I'm super excited about as well. And I don't know if we'll do rice or noodles. I'm not sure. I just put it for over rice. Wednesday is taco chicken kebabs with potatoes and vegetables. I may have my hubby grill these up. If so, you'll see that in that what I eat in a week on the purple plan video. Thursday is going to be leftovers because I imagine we'll have quite a few with the other three nights of dinners. And lastly, on Friday, I'm most excited for this. I'm going to be doing a balsamic steak sheet pan and veggie dinner. This is all on one pan. Can't wait for that. So that is what's on the menu for my weekly week of the purple plan. And then for meal prep, again, they are geared towards being purple plan friendly, but of course are all plan friendly. So for breakfast, we're doing an oatmeal power bowl. So this is kind of a spin on a breakfast quinoa bowl. Can't wait for this. Of course, you guys are going to see all of these meal prep recipes on Monday's video. Lunch is a chicken mango wrap, and I'm going to serve that with a side salad. I've been loving salads. I just posted a fantastic salad recipe on my website, so definitely check that out. And for snacks, I'm making banana granola bars. This is another thing that I've been craving are granola bars. These are super point friendly, full of clean ingredients, so I can't wait to share that with you. So those are what you guys will be seeing for meal prep for the week. And again, this is the planner I use, the carry -all meal planner. Take a moment and support these guys if you're in the market for a meal planner. I know it means a lot to me and it means a lot to them as well. Thank you.
for joining me on another weekly my ww grocery haul i had quite the haul this week i am so incredibly excited to go on the purple plan for this next week and see how i feel if i'm able to control my portions what my weight does i'm so excited i can't wait to share the recipes with you guys my goal is to only film my food during the week rather than a little more day in the life type of thing because i want to include quite a few recipes for you guys so that is my goal so definitely stay tuned in the next I don't know, not this week, but next week for that video. Also check out the description box below for my website, as well as the link to head over and join my Facebook group. And all of the links and discount codes to some of my favorite things are all down in the description box. If you're new, welcome, make sure you're subscribed and your bell notification is turned on so you don't miss a video, especially the purple plan for a week video. It's gonna be epic. So definitely make sure you're subscribed and your bell is turned on. Also, if you're a current subscriber, make sure your bell is turned on so you're notified when I upload. I have a lot of people reach out and say, I didn't know you uploaded. If you turn the bell on, you'll receive that notification. Also give this video a big thumbs up if you love grocery hauls. I love you guys. I hope everyone is doing well, staying home, staying safe, and I can't wait to see you in my next video. Bye guys.